<laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> All right. Mm, what's now? Yeah, you're, you've made it up to the guy. One of the chains looks like, God damn, I wish I had bolt cutters. Bolt cutters would fucking free mm -hmm. one of the chains. The other two? Eh, who knows? Come up with something clever. Probably, like, if, if one is emotion, that's mm -hmm. we could... Oh, potentially if we brought Ollie here. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Yes, but the... Pete said it. Pete, give yourself a refill. Ah, ah. I was thinking it. You gotta say shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ultra free card. Oh, do you have any crap cards? Um. Yeah, you're still gonna get better cards out of this somehow, Yami. Yes. Hopefully. Yes, I have some crap cards. Do you want them or what, what are you? Yeah, doing? yeah, yeah. 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 Try, or, try. or you just throw them out, tell them how many you threw out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just them them uh, I already took yeah. them yeah. to your thing. So, two? Yeah. All right. And two red cards. The first red card is The Gods Hate You. Nice. Ah. Uh. And what's the other what? one out of curiosity? World of Gold. Oh, I assume does World now, of this Pain the kicks. Thing. The worst one kicks in first. The worst one is discard all your cards. As opposed to World of Pain, where everybody Pain, discards. Is, yeah, everyone discards all their cards. Yeah, everybody discards all their cards. Oh, worst one, worst one kicks just, in first. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. I had com camaraderie, so I could oh, no. send it. And well, with the sick card play, that would have worked quite nicely. Yeah, mm. that would be you nice. Get it back up to shaky. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going easy. Come easy, easy go, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. So he's bound here. He's is he naked or clothed or what's the go in that regard? I'm guessing these simple, simple uh, clothes and stuff like the ultra futuristic version, like, you know, not quite a onesie, but, you know, the, the shirt pants feel probably bare feet. Mm -hmm. All right. Because, you know, movie stuff. So the question is, why is he, t why is, is he tied up here? Yeah, I know. A bad thing? Yeah. You know, that's a brilliant question. Take a card for asking a good question. If Yana gives now you a that, brilliant answer, her ask gets a refill. Now that we know who he is, we can actually try and find information about him to mm. see why. Yeah. Why he's bound here. Um, Assuming you make it back through the horrible gauntlet of death. Well, actually, you guys have a really easy way to get out of the horrible gauntlet of death if you end the session here. Um, that's fucking, that's, that's almost a cheat. That's great. But, um, yeah, as far as going and doing stuff, mm, rough, by the way, this seems to be the end of the forest path. It does not seem yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. to be clear, I didn't want to be one of those dickhead gems goes, well, if you'd only got a little further, there's a chest of gold now. Fuck that. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. So probably we need to come here again, get more information in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Now that we know who the sniper yeah. is, yeah, we can look into it and work out the best way to yeah figure out like if he's here for a good reason exactly. or a bad reason. Oh, take a card, Yana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we can start by just asking Ollie. Yeah. Is that your brother or father there? Yeah, but Ollie. Your, your guess would be dad, just looking yeah. at it. Oh, uh, at least we can then find out, see what she has to say on it. Yeah. I mean, fair enough, she wants him three, but. Yeah. But that's the thing about why is there, why is there dreams about it? What's going on? Uh -huh. Is he some guy involved in a cult or. Yeah. It, yeah. Is it actually, is he getting, is he imprisoned here unfairly for some reason? Yeah, exactly. 
Yes. I like that I have the kind of campaign where people are, aren't like, we must free him. They're like, why is he here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're not really trusting this whole thing here. <laughs> well, I've, I've, ever, ever since Ollie said about the whole situation, I thought, I will look into it, but it doesn't mean I'm going to free this person. I'm, I need more information before I free this yeah. person. You're always wanting information, aren't you, number one? <laughs> exactly. We want information. Information. I don't know exactly. if Yana would like that show. It's pretty slow, but it is interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, she might dig it just because she's been there a few times, but <laughs> other than that, I got no idea. All right. It's a TV show. You like TV, Yana? Yeah. Um, is, there, <laughs> is there any, like, if we can move his sleeves, depending on the nature of the binding or anything, just looking to see if there's any, can see any signs of tattooing or scarring? Mm, yes, yes. Like he, has, he has a, a, a spirit pentagram. It appears that uh, the five different uh, pentagram points all have shit in them of mm -hmm. various kinds. Um, you, I'm sure you've probably seen that before on one of the teachers. It indicates the highest possible level of magic ability, which is also what each and every PC has. In other words, you can cast any spell from any tree if you learn it. Some people can only learn one tree. Some people can only learn so up to like major level of spells. Yeah. Indicates he's major level. Yes. Mm. It's kind of relaxing just hanging out here with this guy. <laughs> You're occasionally spattering on you like really slow rain. The worst thing is you can see it coming for a while and you're like, God damn it. No, here no, it comes. No. <laughs> Jesus. That, that smells hot. It smells like alcohol. All oh, the alcohol. Uh, <laughs> it's a slow motion gross thing. Yeah. You notice that none seems to have hit or stuck to the guy, though. Why? <laughs> exactly. If it gets close, it just kind of redirects a little bit. He's so magical. He's magically <laughs> delicious. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, old cereal commercial. <laughs> Getting hungry. <laughs> mm. All right. So, I don't know if we can find something else here. Well, I've checked him out. I mean, if you want to have a look through the magic goggles and see if you see anything I didn't. I can look, but yep. you probably... Especially, oh, well, especially while we're up here close. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey, Burton, there charge on your magical goggles there, Pete. She mm -hmm. uh, activates them using a magic point. And, um, yeah, you look through... Uh, some wild, wild magic. Uh, these the three different chains keeping him here, or whatever. Pretty wild. Uh, like I said, the physical chain. Pretty much, if you had a big ass bolt cutter, not the little peony one, the big ass bolt or a hacksaw or something like yeah. that, that would make short work of this. The magical one, though, uh, some sort of dispelling spell, and then the emotion one, yeah. whatever you guys had said before, maybe. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it seems pretty straightforward to you. You just do not have the tools at your yeah. disposal right now. Okay. I tell it to beat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it confirms what you thought. I mean, it, yeah, yeah. Uh, you didn't roll your allies magic, did you? Shit. <laughs> Try it out, Yana. You might get a check. Oh. It. <laughs> yeah, it it helps. It gives you a bonus oh, using okay. the goggle. Mm -hmm. Oh no. No, that uh, would make it well, actually with the bonus. bonus. Yeah. Oh, the bonus, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's the, the goggles. Pretty oh, much goggles the plus 20. Nice. Magic. Magic. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No problem, yeah. So that's the information you have. There's nothing else uh, on this dude uh, that is really significant. I'm sure he has some tattoos here and there, blah, blah, blah. But they're all like uh, along magical lines and stuff. Um, but the only other thing, Mildred, is the goggles seem mm -hmm. almost like 
they're linked with this. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. So I'm wondering is um, one like thing that? I found in my investigations is that the trophies only go back seven years and so does the graveyard. Hmm. Um, I haven't been able to work out why. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just speculating wildly because of the goggles being linked with him and potential and found I found them left in the way in a storage cupboard, mm -hmm. forgotten, whether or not mm -hmm. he he's linked with whatever happened seven years ago. Interesting. So that potentially may if we find out what happened seven years ago, that may give mm -hmm. shed some light. I'm I'm wondering like how is this place connected to the other places we've seen and how is it in the timeline? Like mm -hmm. if, if this is the place where the abducted kids go from the No, it's not. No? Oh, the time the timeline goes like this. Mm -hmm. Um where is it? And there we go. All right. Now keep in mind also that it looks like we've got we're dealing with potentially two different time or three different timelines actually um so from what i can work out this this place along with some of the other places we've been to all relate to genovia mm -hmm. okay. as in, and where genovia exists europe doesn't really exist mm -hmm. because it was a different shaped landmass from when i looked into it originally mm -hmm. um Although I want to do some further checking just to confirm that. But yeah, so basically you've got 1880, which was the Wild West. Mm -hmm. Also, 1880 is where Melwix is. That's the place that's connected to the um, river. Um, and that's actually in Genovia itself. Mm -hmm. um, 2020, red carpet. 2050 is Cyberpunk, uh, mm -hmm. Night City. Uh, 2090 is the alien takeover, and that's Bug City. Mm. 20, 2100, the aliens leave. 2101, the Great Magic War begins. 2105, Genovia sinks or disappears. The books weren't sure about that. And 2108, the Great Magic War ends. And 2151 is this the time we're in, which is okay. the Gothic post-apocalyptic St. Angeles and the Shadow Academy. Uh -huh. okay. okay. So we are much more in the future. Yes. Yeah. Um, one of the weird things I found, oh, they talk about the rending, and the rending is when the aliens rocked up. Now, mm -hmm. apparently the aliens took two generations of children, which uh -huh. doesn't fit in with the them only being there for 10 years. Yeah. So, and also it's, that's, Part of the rending in the magic war is like when the um laws of reality changed like you know the fact that we've got these magic guns etc because gunpowder and stuff doesn't work and electricity doesn't work mm. and also monsters appeared and or people and plants mutated so okay and it's supposed yeah yeah and it's supposedly two generations passed since the rending mm -hmm. yeah so <laughs> That's that's the, some of the stuff I found out yep. looking into things. Mm. Nothing better than having a heart to heart comparing notes conversation floating around <laughs> in the big vomit thing. <laughs> like some dude who's lying there. Awesome. Yeah. I, I poke him in the face, like tap his mm. cheek. Okay. Uh, give me a essence roll. Uh -oh. I'm just curious to see if, him, if he's yeah. awake. I mean, the whole thing about the being the sleeper is chances are he's not, but uh, just by five, nothing special. Um, uh, meh. Yep. Okay, just, he still feels alive and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Until Yana suddenly pulled out her skinning knife and said, yeah. well, why don't we just cut out? <laughs> well, I'm, yeah. well, I'm here. <laughs> Let's Have you ever seen what blood looks like in zero G? <laughs> Ooh. Oh <my> Interesting. <laughs> that is absolutely horrifying. All right. Okay. Anything? Nice arterial spray going, spinning. 
Anything else? I don't think so. I think we are finished here for now. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You will confuse any bad guys who may have been stalking you by suddenly disappearing as the game session's ending. So, uh, <laughs> bastards. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, right. So, go ahead and discard any cards you don't like. And we're going to do end of mission refill. It's definitely a three hero point mission. You guys uh, managed to conquer through the fears and get into yes. the thing, uh, going into a spooky ass forest past all kind of hell. And then stopping to ask intelligent <laughs> questions rather than going, all right, let's do it. <laughs> I have a red tree if you have something fun. Uh, but nah, but mm. the only thing is if you wanted to spend hero points to clear a insanity. She's um, going back down so fast with her crazy. I don't know if it'll be yeah, I, I'm afraid that I would just like gain it again very quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Well, if 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 in fact uh, leaving this guy locked up is the right thing to do, remind me at that point that you'll get hero points if you leave them locked up but freeing them is the right thing to remind me and you get or not hero points uh sandy points mm -hmm. um you know etc etc you haven't really done anything sandy. actually no i'll give you i'll give uh uh let's see joshua is not really scared at force but yana actually ran from before so for going back i'll give you a d4 sand nice <laughs> yeah well, you conquered your fear, and that's a big part of not being yeah. as crazy as you normally are. Yes, three. I'm mm -hmm. on 24 now. Wow. I'm completely stable. <laughs> I am down to 91. <laughs> okay, okay. Shotgun. Shotgun <laughs> joker. <laughs> So yes, I need to gain need to do some heroic stuff to get my get it back up to ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. I need also to do some heroic yes. stuff to not yes. die of craziness. Yes. Yeah, dying of craziness is a, a good way to lose the character. So yeah. try hard to be mm -hmm. nice for long enough to get some sandy. And then you go back to your normal life of mayhem yeah. and mischief. <laughs> but it's so hard to be nice. I know. I know. Yeah. I have a do it again card. Which ah. is what I think that's a good one for end of mission. Yeah, yeah, I'm just reading it and trying to understand what it means. Immediately after attempting a stat up, if the PC has a card for a check in the stat, so I, I need to have like a specific another card. Like a check in essence yeah. or, yeah. I don't have that. Mm. Uh, bummer, we don't have to slip card play anymore because that would have been mm -hmm. perfect. Because yeah. we could retrieve the card that gave us the check and then. Yeah, that would be nice. So I don't have anything useful. Card no, neither do I, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, but the most useful thing I've got is a reroll. Besides that, everything else yeah. is. Yeah. Well, you got three hero points, and I don't think. Well, you guys spent. Some uh, hero points actually, but yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. you didn't. You managed to, to twenty. Mm, mm -hmm. You managed to avoid all kind of messy combat and shit. Yeah, that was nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually, was there any combat this session? Yes, I uh, I fought the. That's right. That's right. The dude. <laughs> yeah. Last she, session she was released, no combat at all. She released so. some stress. Yes, exactly. It's like therapy. Such a brutal fucking therapy. <laughs> so, do I, actually, that's a good point. Do I gain any sand for redirecting uh, her from killing poor innocents to uh, taking out the homicidal? I would say, that, I would say that's a, not so much about uh, 
gaining sand, but preventing sand loss. <laughs> true, true. Because <laughs> we all, you, you, didn't, you didn't do anything like wildly uh, heroic or whatever. You just said, no. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, kill him instead. Killing some poor maid. And... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we kill that. Yeah, let's, whatever find, let's, let's find an active for you to kill honorably. <laughs> and then skin. Yes, honorably. Honorably. 